Here is our next reading, Dangerous Weather Ahead. On page three, you'll see your table of contents so you know exactly where to find different parts of the book. Natural hazards. Hazard means something dangerous. When you hear the words natural hazard, you may think of earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. But these are not the only types of natural hazards. Sometimes the weather can be dangerous. Hurricanes, blizzards, and lightning are all natural hazards. These types of weather are more common in some places than others. Even so, almost every place has some kind of natural hazard. Meteorologists can predict when dangerous weather is on the way. They let people know when and where a natural hazard may strike. Natural hazards can cause serious problems like flooding and forest fires. People have found many solutions to these problems. We have figured out ways to stay safe from all kinds of natural hazards. We can't stop dangerous weather from happening, but we can be prepared. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are big storms that form over warm water in the ocean. They are more common in places with warm climates. When hurricanes hit the coast where people live, they can cause lots of damage. Hurricanes bring heavy rain and strong winds. A hurricane can dump billions of gallons of precipitation in one day. The winds in a hurricane can move faster than a race car. The title of the map on, the, on page 7 says Hurricanes 1851 to 2012. And our key tells us that the colors mean the number of hurricanes and tropical storms. The darker the color, the more hurricanes and tropical storms happened in that area. In the United States, hurricanes are the most common along the southeast coast. Hurricane safety tips. Stay inside with the doors and windows closed. Stay away from the windows. Don't go outside right away if the rain and wind stop. They may start up again. Stay inside until you are sure the hurricane has passed. Here's a problem. Strong hurricane winds can blow the roof off a building. In a hurricane, the wind may blow more than 250 kilometers per hour or 150 miles per hour. Strong winds like these are powerful enough to cause lots of damage. They can even blow the roof off a building. A hurricane blew off part of the roof on this house. The solution. Build strong roofs that will stay on, even in powerful winds. People can prepare their houses for hurricanes using hurricane clips. Hurricane clips are pieces of metal. People bolt them to the wooden beams of a roof. The clips help hold the roof down during a hurricane. These are metal hurricane clips. They are bolted to the wooden beams of a roof. People are building this roof with hurricane clips. The roof will be very strong when it is finished. Problem. Hurricanes can cause flooding. Lots of precipitation falls during a hurricane. At the same time, strong winds can push ocean water onto land. This is called a storm surge. Heavy rains and storm surges can cause flooding. The water in a flood can be very dirty. Flood water can ruin a house and everything inside of it. Flooding is a serious problem for people with houses in hurricane areas. When a house fills with flood water, the house and everything inside may be ruined. The solution. Build houses on stilts so flood water doesn't get inside. In hurricane areas, some people build houses that are raised up on stilts. Stilts are long and thin. The stilts hold the houses up above the level of the flood water. The flood water flows under the houses without damaging them. People built their houses on stilts in this area. Even though there is a flood, the water is not getting inside the houses. Blizzards. A blizzard is a type of dangerous snowstorm. This natural hazard happens in places where the temperatures get cold. In a blizzard, strong winds blow snow and send it flying around. When flying snow makes it hard to see, that's called a whiteout. The title of the map on page 13 says Blizzard Warnings 2009 to 2014. And the colors are all the number of blizzard warnings. 
The darker the color, the more warnings they had that a blizzard might happen. Be careful to note it's not just that part of the United States, but you can see down on the bottom left of the map that in Alaska, blizzards happen too. Blizzards are most likely in northern areas and areas with tall mountains. Blizzard safety tips. Make sure you have warm clothes and lots of blankets. Stay inside and keep your pets inside. Problem. Blizzards can cause blackouts. In a blizzard, strong winds can blow down power lines. When power lines fall, the electricity goes out. That's called a blackout. Blackouts can be dangerous, especially when the temperature is very cold. Many heaters run on electricity. That means many people cannot heat their home during blackouts. Also, some people like patients in hospitals need machines to keep them healthy. High winds and heavy snow made these power lines fall down. The solution. Backup generators provide power to keep machines running. Hospitals, schools, banks, and other buildings often have backup generators. That way they can still get electricity when a blizzard has taken down power lines. A backup generator works like a car engine, burning gas to provide power. A backup generator can keep the electricity on in a building until the power lines are fixed. Hospitals and other big buildings often have backup generators like this one. Lightning. You may have seen lightning, flashes of light that zigzag across the sky during storms. Every second about 40 volts of lightning strike Earth's surface. Lightning is caused by electrical energy in the air. Each bolt of lightning has enough electrical energy to turn on 8 million toasters. The title of the map on page 17 says lightning strikes 1997 to 2010 and notice the colors here show lightning strikes, strikes per square kilometer and this is a yearly average. The brightest color pink shows the most, and then it gets lighter and lighter until there's zero. Lightning can hit anywhere, but some areas tend to have more lightning strikes on average and others have fewer. Lightning safety tips. If you hear thunder, go inside right away. Do not hide under a tree, get inside as quickly as you can. Stay inside until 30 minutes after the thunder stops. Problem. Lightning can damage buildings badly. Lightning is most likely to strike the tallest object in an area. Often that's the roof of a building. Lightning strikes can damage buildings badly. They can even set buildings on fire. And there's the photo showing lightning hitting a tall building. The solution. Get the lightning to hit something else. People can hit, keep lightning from striking the roof of a tall building by putting up something even taller for the lightning to strike, a lightning rod. The lightning rod can be hit by lightning without being damaged. The energy from the lightning passes through the lightning rod, through wires, and into the ground. That way, it doesn't damage the building. On the bottom of page 19, there's two images. The one on the left says, this is a close-up of a lightning rod on the roof of a house. And on the right, this diagram shows how a lightning rod works. Problem. Lightning strikes can start dangerous forest fires. If lightning strikes a tree in the middle of a forest, it can start a forest fire. Although they can kill plants and animals, natural forest fires can be an important part of keeping a forest healthy. However, if they burn close to where people live, forest fires can be very dangerous. If nobody notices a fire right away, it may get bigger and bigger. Big fires are hard to put out. Lightning strikes can start forest fires like this one. The solution. Watch for forest fires so that firefighters can put them out if needed. People build towers in the middle of the forest so they can watch out for forest fires. Fire watchers look out over the forest from the tower. They watch for lightning strikes and smoke. If they see signs of a fire, they warn firefighters right away. Then firefighters can put out the fire before it burns out of control. People watch for forest fires in this tower. 
other weather problems. Hurricanes, blizzards, and lightning are not the only kinds of dangerous weather. Other kinds of weather cause other kinds of problems. Tornadoes can smash houses and cars. Ice storms can make roads dangerously slippery. Very hot weather can make people sick. And above you see a tornado. Tornadoes are dangerous storms with very strong winds. And on the right, on page 23, ice storms cover trees, roads, and everything else in slippery ice. What natural hazards do people need to prepare for in your area? What solutions have they found? Here is your glossary if you need it to review any of our important vocabulary words. And you'll see in our next lesson, you'll need to find your state. So now is a great time to pause your video and try to find where your state is on this map. Great job, I'll see you in our next part of our lesson.